for some guys. So we have gotten some normal, almost normal, just December weather here in Texas. Look at this, man. This is all ice over there. Oh my God, it is cold. Oh, I'm gonna slip on the mat, bro. Oh, this is ice. Oh, look at this side. There's red, man. Ice. Ah, I'm talking. She is frozen solid. Look at all the icicles on her, bro. Like. Man, this whole street is iced out. Like, this is ice. Like, look at that. All right, so in Texas, I know y'all be talking about, oh, it's not that cold. It's cold. Today is like 17 degrees with a wind chill about five. And y'all be like, oh, in Texas, y'all don't really get no bad weather. So in Texas, we don't really get snow. We get ice. So I don't care who you is. You can drive in snow, but you cannot drive in ice. And like, y'all can see there's layers of ice. Like, yeah, man, this is no joke. I'm scared to step down. What's this down here? Look at that. That's hard. Didn't even break. Like, that's not snow. All this is ice. We got some come running up over here. Look at a little animal or something. See some little footprints. Huh, that's weird. And then they just stop. Yeah, I'm looking for it now. Oh, here's a dog. Here's a dog. Just curious. His footprint right there, but they just disappear right here. They jump. <laughs> This is crazy and poor red, y'all. Y'all know she's not used to this weather, man. She's been covered since I had it. Always in the park getting covered, and now she is out in the elements, so I gotta get something to cover her up. But yeah, I mean, icicles all along the house. As y'all can see, it is freezing, so I'm going back to something. One eternity later. Brielle is leaving the house for the first time. Uh, uh, almost just fell <laughs> for the first time, but you can see our neighbors over there their driveways are clear because they get sunlight outside of the street just does not get sunlight that hit the house in the front so we still got some ice here so she's gonna try to brave it because we are throwing a party for uh my father-in-law her dad surprise party he doesn't know about it i will be filming that for the couple's channel so if you're interested in watching that video go subscribe, subscribe and check out our couple's channel so nice and slow just let it roll honestly slow it down Slow it down a little bit. Yeah. We not used to this stuff, so, so I don't know if it's ice underneath there or what, but. Okay. Hey, just make sure you ain't away from red if all that fails. Just turn to the right. I'm worried about red right now. You got it. Just, just let it, you doing good. Just keep that up and you should be fine. You got some Pirellis on there. Sound like just snow though. You know it's gonna be hell trying to get back up on the way home. <laughs> Whatever, I ain't shoveling nothing. I, we don't even own a shovel. <laughs> All right, bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know, back, 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 baby, with another video. Thank y'all for coming kicking me with your boy Q today, guys. So I got simple, quick installation I want to do for a truck. Been wanting to get with these for quite a while, but if y'all don't know, I don't do a lot of towing, so I haven't saw the need for one of these until now. I got it for two reasons. But I have been needing one of these systems, and that's what I got. And I'll go ahead and show y'all. Boom. That's right. We got a way safe tow hitch, guys. So uh, if you haven't seen way safe, so here, it's a heavy box for one. This thing is super heavy. Way safe is basically a tow hitch company who designed this hitch that basically tells you how much um, capacity you have. Um, basically gross torn away and it shows it actually right there on the hitch that you can see there so i think this is a great idea for me for novice like me who usually don't tow or don't know anything about towing or payload and all that stuff i mean i know a little bit about it but i have never towed with my truck my truck has never towed anything so for me this is a positive make it very easy for those novice guys or for you experienced guys who just you know you can see how much you're towing i think this is pretty cool invention Thank you. Again, they are the sponsor of today's video, so thank you, Waysafe. And if you want your own Waysafe tow hitch, you can use my code. And I'll put it right there for y'all to get 15% off of your purchase. So we're about to install it today. Curious to see what's in the box. But let's open this thing up, see what we got. Looking in the box here, I have my... This thing is so heavy, bro. This whole system is heavy. Oh my goodness. Here's your hitch receiver. I think it's so heavy. I can barely lift it one hand. Holy crap. Just to show y'all what we have. So you have your receiver right here. Again, I got an eight inch drop, two inch shank. And moving over here, this is your locking pin um, for your receiver. So you lock it in here in your hole so it locks it to the actual truck here. So no one can just come off and take it. And there's an airplane. Be right back. 
and then they also provide you two keys for it which is nice and it also has a dust cover over there to keep any dust from getting out uh, and that's how it looks on top and also here you can see this is going to lock your um your i'm not sure so this is your hitch receiver i'm not sure what this is called this is your toe ball we say your toe ball and hitch to the actual shaft here so this is what this piece is for it literally goes in right here on the side there which connects this to this here and that way it's locked in there pretty safe and then you get two keys with that as well and a dust cover to go over your lock which is here then here again as your hitch you get two hitches i have two they sent two actually you get a two inch which carries uh eight thousand pounds and then you get the two and a half with two two fifth sixteen which is twelve thousand five hundred pound which i will be using that one, so and then you get your pin to lock that in place which is it's pretty simple there's a hole right there just slide it in there like such boom it's in there, it's in there. they package it away very very nicely but here it is here's what it tells you what's in the box right there it's for you as well um should be super easy to install but it is so heavy i never dealt with a hitch <laughs> this heavy guys and i mean i never dealt with a hitch period but i didn't know they all were this heavy but this thing is freaking heavy and i can barely lift it with one hand holy crap but i'm excited about this it should give the truck a good look as well so shout out to my guy paul so if y'all know paul we did a video featuring his uh, uh f-150 20 what ooh, i'm not sure black king ranch definitely go check it out there's a dope video paul thank you bro but i talked to him because he has this as well which we talked about in the video and he gave me all the specs and what i need and things like that he told a lot and so he definitely recommends it safe. You know, he said it makes less noise than some of the other tow hitches. I said safe, way safe. Some of the tow hitches that he's dealt with. So thank you, Paul, bro, for taking the time and tell me about all the measurements and things I need and things like that. So the main reason I got this one, it's a good look with the truck having a tow hitch. Two, I need a tow hitch. Three, guys, I've been traveling to work now since we moved to the house. I've been traveling a lot further for work now. I had a Nissan Maximum. First car I ever bought with my own money. So proud. Rear-ended on the interstate. Three car pile up. I was the last car to get hit and totaled the car. And now on my way to work, oh my God, traffic to Dallas is so bad. I seen a TikTok video where a guy had one. Somebody ran into the back of him, but they hit the hitch. Their car was totaled, hitch was completely fine, truck was fine. So there's also a safety measurement security for me if somebody runs to the back of me because like i said i'm traveling a lot farther to work and people just cannot drive in dallas like it's scary i did want to say they did have different options i got the black stainless steel they did have a black aluminum which was a hundred dollars more than this one and then they had the all steel like aluminum like this color which is what paul had um the same price so i got the black just to match my truck better i did think about getting it painted but i want to see how it looks first uh but it's definitely heavy go add some weight to the back of the truck for sure but yeah let's get this inside and i'll talk about some of the the like how you can position it and things like that so here we go all right guys so first thing i'm gonna do get your hitch put it in the receiver here like that boom slides all the way in line up with the hole so you can have it here or you can have it out a little further if you want there's two holes also, this hitch can be flipped to tow upside down or to raise the, the raise section. So you can put it in this way as well. So it's up if you want to, so it's your preference. But we're gonna put it down here. I do see what Paul was talking about, this black of steel finish, how it's scratching up a little bit, but they did say that in a way safe direction that you can paint that if needed. So we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna go all the way in, I guess. So all in like that first step then you're gonna take your shank lock hitch which is right here so this is how you basically lock the uh shank to the truck so not sure how this goes but here we go go figure this out so what you have to do you take the key they provide put it in here that's gonna open it up boom now you got your two pieces and you slide this in through the hitch and then you just connect it again so take this Slide it through the receiver here. Like that. Put your Glock on. Like that. Just twist. Lock. Boom. Put your dust cover back on. Boom. That way, no one now can just come and steal your hitch without this key. So cool. So next, you want to add your. Uh, your ball mount hitch and it's super easy you just slide it on you see the holes there it has so we're just gonna take this now put it on the truck so to lock this to the truck you do need this right here which is your uh, basically to lock the hitch to the receiver and they give you this right here has a key as well pretty nice heavy made 
So you want to take it here, slide it up, all right. Yep, like that. And you just put it where you want it. You want it high, low, anything like that. So I'm just go to the lower setting. Boom, just like that. That's on there. And then you take your take your second set of keys they gave you right here, which they actually kept inside this, so you know what it's for. This is your dust cover. Take it, lock it, like so. Boom. Now it's locked. So now this can't come off. Boom. Take your dust cover and put your dust cover on. Boom. Just like that. Your dust cover's on. Everything's nice and secured. And that's it. So also if you want to store the hitch if you're not using it, you literally just take it, flip it to where the hitch, the ball mount, the ball hitch is facing that way. And you do the same thing. You take it and you just slide it up. Put that in here. Like so. I'm sorry, I got to put my key. So I got to do this side. Boom. Now my hitch is stored away. I'll show you all that. In the stored away position on the back. Now, as I said, this hitch can also be stored in, in the up position. So take it here, flip it upwards. As such, put it in, take your pin, put it back in, put your pin back in as such. Now you take your receiver here, like that. You just take your hitch. Boom. Now I have my hitch in the up position. As you can see here, now it's in the up or facing position. So I can do lower with my hitch down here, or I can do raise, bring the hitch up and my receiver facing up. So you got a lot of cool options. Now, I will say, trying to film this and do this is very hard, because this thing is super heavy, but if you didn't have to film this and do this, it's pretty easy process, man. And I'm a novice when it comes to this stuff, guys, hitch, receivers, and all that, and I can figure it out on my own. It's super easy. I like how they got everything just plug and play almost, if I want to call it. Y'all see now what it looks like on the truck? Oh yeah, get rid of a little more character, you know? Anyway guys, hope that video explained. It was hard trying to explain and hold the heavy hitch uh, at the same time. So hopefully I captured everything for you. It's great looking hitch, way safe. You know, that's gonna help me out because I don't tow much at all. But now I got a good hitch, solid hitch. We'll see if it makes any noise because um, I heard that may be the case with some hitches. But if you're interested, go ahead. There's a good coupon in the description, my code. Put it right there for y'all in the description. Get you 15% off this hitch, guys. The price of this one was, uh, crap. I think like $350 or something like that for this particular one. Um, they have aluminum one, they have a stainless steel one in steel color and not all black. This is stainless steel all black. The aluminum one is the most expensive. So thank you again for Waysay for sponsoring this video. Send me this product, I'm super excited. Anyway, stay tuned for more. This is Boy Q, it's all I got. Catch you on the next